Hey, it's Kurt back here with yet another review. I've got several things to review in regards to beauty and skin. Now, I'm not one of those metrosexual kind of guys that are all into fashionable shoes and fashionable pants and suit coats and spending $100 on haircuts and things like that. No, ma'am. No, I don't do that. But a long time ago, I did recognize the fact that skin kind of makes a difference. It's kind of a barometer of your health, if you will. So um, when I see, especially a man whose skin is all leathered out because he's been baking in the sun or, or maybe he's diluted and using um, toxic thinking and going to the tanning bed all his life and he may be in shape, but his skin is just like shoe leather. It just wrinkles everywhere. I found that to be appalling when I was younger. I thought, you know what? I'm not going to ever let myself get like that until I'm about 90. <laughs> you know, um, try to be a healthy guy. It doesn't make any sense to be healthy if your skin looks like shoe leather. You follow me? So your skin is also important. I mean, you could be the fittest person in the world with, with a six pack. But if your skin looks like shoe leather, no ma'am. So uh, many, many years ago, um, I started adding a little bit of lotions here and there. And I used to do a little bit of like acupressure, massage, finger, just to get the, the blood flowing in certain areas. And um, then I had my first facial probably 15 or 20 years ago. And that really felt, it felt good, but it also felt like it rejuvenated my skin a little bit. And so as I got closer and closer to 40, I thought, you know what? The writing's on the wall. You can't just let nature take its course. Otherwise, you end up looking like Chet Baker, you know, by the time you're 60 years of age. And if you don't know what Chet Baker ended up looking like, he never made it to 60, but uh, I'll put a picture up. He, he did not look too good. Anyway, for the last 15 years or plus, um, I've been putting different lotions on my face and I've had, um, fate whenever I could afford it, um, just a facial every now and then. And then uh, maybe a good five or six years ago, I stumbled on a video on YouTube and a lady was doing this. I thought, what is that lady doing? Crazy, right? What is she doing? And she was like in her 50s, but she looked like 35. And she explained that she'd been using a derma roller or micro needle type thing on her face for over 10 years. And just the act of doing that had kept her skin... I'm looking relatively healthy, like the healthy skin of a 30-year-old. And the logic behind it that she explained was that when you do this, you do just small little damage to your skin, a little tiny um, trauma, I guess is the best way to say it, a small amount of trauma with these little needles. And what happens in your body, it activates emergency response, and your body starts sending collagen up to your skin to repair it. Now, collagen is actually what you lose. The collagen, when you lose collagen as you get older, that's what gives your skin that kind of le shoe leather um, lacticity kind of look. It's just not firm anymore or plump. It thins out, doesn't look good. That's because you lost collagen. So I also have another review I'm going to do on a collagen supplement that I take on a regular basis, you know, the one that you eat or drink. And that'll be in another review. So... Anyway, I saw that, and the way she explained it, I thought, you know what, that kind of makes sense. You know, I thought, um, well, let me try that. So I bought this many, many years ago. I think um, my first one I got probably eight or maybe almost eight or nine years ago, but this one here I actually got, and I'll show you the invoice. I actually got it over four years ago on Amazon. And I started off, now they're graded in millimeters as far as how um, prickly they are. And this is a one millimeter one, so I wouldn't recommend that you actually go out and get the one millimeter one right away. You might want to work up to it. But um, I started off at a 0 0.25, a 25 millimeter, a 0.25 millimeter. And I, I did it for like a couple of weeks, and I never really felt much in it. I mean, it didn't it didn't hurt me, and it, it, didn't, it barely made my face red, you know. So I, I moved up to a, uh, what was it? I believe it was a 0.50 which that one was pretty good. So I moved up to a 0.50 and then eventually that was a white one. Then eventually I moved up to a 0.75. That one I could feel pretty good. And then now this one, um, I only have to rub it a few times. Like, whoa, right there I can feel it. This is a one millimeter. So I don't, uh, probably can't see, but yeah, 
you can see you can see the, the little needles coming out. Here, here's how here's how I think, folks. We're all going to end up looking as bad as Chet Baker by the time we hit 90. If we make it to 90, we're our skin is all is going to just look like crap by the time we get ready to get put into a coffin and say say our goodbyes. Okay, um, so the way I look at it is as long as you are able to be healthy, exercise and do some good in this world and be alive you might as well try to look and be your best and so this is one way that i do it now you keep your skin looking good you drink a lot of water and there's some other things that i do so this is the derma roller and i'll leave a link uh, where i got it on amazon it's lasted me you'll see for more than four years now recently i got a package of six of these guys they all came in uh, various different type of tools and um, i took this one off the handle and I decided to use it up around my eyes and it seems just to be perfect the other one that you just saw is is not appropriate for your eyes you, the, the skin around your eyes is so thin that um, I believe that you could damage it and not to mention those are one millimeter prickly needles and that you wouldn't want that going into your eye this is a 0.25 uh, derma roller I just got the head of it you can see it's supposed to be attached to something and I'll show you. I'll show you the package that I got this in. Now you can buy the whole the whole kit. That's how you have to get it. Uh, they're not expensive. Um, I think uh, we're talking ten, fifteen dollars. So this is not expensive at all. But this one here, I just try to go around my eyes a little bit, just kind of like that. Get close to the eyes. And you can see that the the roller is thin enough where you can get in there like that. You know, add a little blood flow uh, and um, get that collagen effect. So I do that around my eyes with this guy. So the heavy duty one that I use is, and this one cost a pretty penny, is the Microderm GLO Diamond Head. And you get that off of Amazon. Now I got this also around maybe 2018, a good, from at least from today's date, a good four years ago plus. Um, this one has a diamond tipped head. That's actually diamonds on the tip. And it has a vacuum. So it kind of um, sucks uh, the, the dead skin out. Um, as you scrape away and I believe it also bling, brings the blood circulation in and this one now this one's around 200 bucks but it's worth it it's just it's like a, a scaled down version of what you might see at those fancy spas where they actually do the real microdermabrasion on you uh, you can get the same effect with this guy uh, it's 200 bucks and compared to what 50 or 100 bucks if you have to go get one done now, I actually had one of those done when I was at the University of Arizona uh, there was a some kind of special for microdermabrasion. I never had done it. It was like um, twenty nine dollars, normally like a hundred dollars. So I thought, well, uh, keep an open mind. Let's go see what it's all about. And that one, they really grind away at you, <laughs> so you can really feel it. Um, but yeah, it was painful. But anyway, I decided that that was going to be just too expensive, and I ended up investing in this guy. And I'll leave a link for this. If you care anything about your skin, you need to get involved in something like this. Unless you're rich. Well, if you're rich, then you can just go to the spa and pay $100 every two weeks. You know, um, I don't have that kind of money. I mean, what would that be? You know, 200 a month times 12. I mean, you know, what, over two grand a year for uh, something you can just do at your, at your house. So if you're rich, you can just go to the spa, get that done. Otherwise, I recommend just being in control and getting uh, this microderm GLO diamond kit it's 200 bucks I'll leave the link on Amazon uh, that these are my affiliate links and it really works quite well though this one's four years old I don't even know if I have a chart I do have it charged up okay so um, I'll probably leave a more professional let's see if it's gonna get in there there we go it's got a little timer on and everything and click it it's got several different levels I usually try to use it at the top level and uh, that's it just kind of uh, pulling away the dead skin off your face and I do it just a couple of times you can already see the blood start to run to the surface and you can already start to see the skin come off so uh, when you get rid of the dead skin on your face your body repairs it with the collagen and you have a renewed fresh layer of skin and it stays healthier so you can just see how this is starting to, to work Look at that. Just that one spot is red. And that's taking off um, a dead skin. Now when I get done, there's a filter in here. 
and when I take this actually comes out and when you take it out there's a filter screen and you can see all the dead skin um, that's accumulated I mean it, it you'll see it and it, it, it's a big wad of dead skin but look at what it did just for a couple of seconds you can see you can already see some of the skin where it kind of peeled it away that's how powerful this is powerful guys this is not a play around toy so this is powerful you saw right here just how many strokes did I do just a couple bam okay so now you know the three tools that I use uh, I use this microderm GLO diamond tip this is the real deal I highly recommend if you got the 200 bucks to go ahead and get it in fact even if you don't have the $200 you better go get it anyway because you're gonna spend that much in just a couple of treatments uh, just at your local spa even if you go to some beauty school where they're training students they're still gonna charge you uh, 25 or 40 dollars every time you go in so it's just it's just better it's, uh, financially smarter just to get one of these so you got the microderm GLO diamond and you got the little this little baby one I use for my eyes it's a 0.25 millimeter and where did I put the other one at oh now this is the one millimeter derma roller. I recommend that you don't get this in the beginning. Go ahead and get a 0 0.25, a 25 millimeter. It's a point, we're talking points. So it's a 0 0.25 of a millimeter, like a quarter of a millimeter. Um, get one like this and I'll put up the link to, of where I got this when they make them in the different sizes. So you'll see this one, it's kind of a purple one, uh, but they also make it in a 0 0.25, they make it in a 0 0.50. Um, I'm not sure if they jump right to one millimeter after that, but anyway, you can get one like this. Just go ahead and start off, even if you just use it for a couple of weeks. It's not much money, and you want to start off less as opposed to more. You don't want to hurt yourself. I'm just a little bit on the wrong side of 40, and I've seen a lot of 40-year-old guys, and their skin does not look like this. Their skin is, uh, is all wrinkled out. Look at the forehead. That's the forehead of like a 32-year-old man, maybe even a 30-year-old man. Uh, most guys that are 40 that I see their forehead, I mean, they got just lines and etchings all over their face. I mean, just, it doesn't look good. Your skin is a barometer of your health. Uh, let me say that again. Your skin is a barometer of your health. And um, if you are a fit person, but your skin looks like shoe leather, you get a thumbs down from me. And other people probably subconsciously, whether they're thinking about it or not, also give you a thumbs down. Your skin is that important. And we all have to walk around with our skin, and that's the first thing that people see uh, when you when they're talking to you is they notice your skin, you know, whether subconsciously or not. So you, all, you want to be as healthy as you can. You want to try to be the best version of yourself as you can for the longest period of time. And that means you take good care of your skin. So these are the tools. Now I have other things I do for my health and my skin, which I'll bring in other reviews. Um, some, a couple of uh, skin creams and lotions I put on my face. Another one that's for hardcore, that's a retinoid. If you don't know what a retinoid is, it's the, a version of Retin-A. And then um, also I drink a lot of water. So, you know, people say that all the time and a lot of people just let it go in one ear and out the other ear. But keeping yourself fully hydrated makes a huge difference. It really does. So I'm Kurt Thompson. This is yet another non-musical and non-trumpet review. And these are things that I use in my daily life on a regular basis. And I'm giving you stuff that works for me. And based on what I've seen, it works for just about everybody else. Link down in the description. Go ahead and grab it. You'll get the best deal. And it's my Amazon links. And I'll see you in the next video.